What's up, Griddle Gang? Welcome back. We got a fun video for you today. It's not going to be serious like all the other ones, right? We're going to be, uh, it, the weather stinks out there today. We wanted to cook outside, but it's bad. It's, it's snowy and sleety. And you know how the Midwest is, though. Tomorrow shows like 54 degrees. So we're going to make some, uh, some hot dogs. We're going to prep them up today and we're going to cook them on the Blackstone tomorrow. So um, the idea here is. We're going to core out hot dogs and we're going to stuff them with different things and we're going to make our own little creation here. I haven't seen anybody do this. Should be a lot of fun. Um, we actually made uh, a couple different things here. We're going to do cheese sticks and some of the, uh, the smaller dogs for the kids. Then uh, here we've got a uh, loaded nacho kind of dip. And then this one is like a, uh, it's like a pepper kind of sauce. It's got uh, oh different peppers and sour cream and cheese and jalapeno and things like that in there. This one's got beans, uh, the, the loaded nacho one has beans, salsa, shredded cheese, uh, it, it's it's pretty good stuff too. And then right here we've got a, a mushroom and onion mixture that we uh, cooked up in the skillet and then uh, we just chopped the living heck out of it. So the idea here, the theory, and we have sauerkraut also that we're going to do because uh, mom and dad love sauerkraut on their dogs so we're going to make them a couple sauerkraut dogs. Not big into the sauerkraut but they are. So the idea here was to Take a boba tea straw, one of these big plastic straws, and take a, a quarter pound uh, beef uh, butcher shop hot dog and core it out. Pipe in whatever fillings you want, be it one of these or jalapeno cream cheese maybe, or like a chili cheese, which sounds really good too. Pipe that in there and then cut that little bit of the end off the, uh, the part that you pipe out. Throw a toothpick in them and cook them up that way. That way everything's on the inside. Uh, and then whenever they're done cooking, you can put whatever you want on the outside. That's the theory anyway, right? We're going to have fun with it. So come on over here and get tight. The boba straw has kind of a, a tapered end to it. So, you know, this is a, it's kind of interesting. So we're just going to try to go down the middle of that dog as best you can. Little, little catty wampus coming out of there, but that's okay. And then here, this was the, the part that I was kind of hoping. I was hoping that would pull back out. And it looks like it might. But I've got one of my real big kebab skewers. So I was thinking I could just kind of work that back out of there. Because I kind of want to save that. So it's just kind of work in progress. If anybody's ever done these before, uh, let us know because I'm kind of curious. We've, we've never seen them before. This is something that we wanted to kind of try. That's okay though because we wanted to save the ends to put back in. And there you go. Nice little baby hot dog kind of entered thing there. And this is what we're left with. A quart out, quarter pound beef hot dog that we're going to pipe here. I guess I could show you one and then uh, we can cut back uh, after I get them all done. Show you how it turned out. So this is the the pepper dip, or I think, oh man, I can't remember the actual name for it. It's like Mexicali dip or something like that. I don't know. It, it's really good. There's recipes online for that. So you guys have piped stuff before, so I'm just kind of hoping this works out pretty good. We'll see. Kind of might made my hole too big there. <laughs> Messed that one up, guys. That's, uh, that's live TV for you. All right, well, what I ended up doing was I ended up making another bag because it cut the hole too big. You just want a, maybe like a quarter of an inch hole in there. And if you got some way to pipe a little better, it would probably be a little easier. But it's working this way. There you go. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get these all prepped up and then uh, we're gonna cut back tomorrow as we're cooking these when we're throwing them on the Blackstone. So uh, it's gonna be awesome. All right, there we go. They're all prepped up. We got the griddle hot. We got some green beans on there with some bacon and some onion cooking down with a little bit of the uh, Himalayan pink salt with the garlic and the pepper. That stuff's awesome. I love that flavor. So we've got, uh, four different kinds of hot dogs here. We got one stuffed with mushroom and onion. 
Uh, we got the Mexicali pepper dip. We got the, uh, the taco dip, nacho dip. And we got some sauerkraut ones. And then we got some little guys that are stuffed with cheese sticks for the kids. So we're gonna throw these down real quick. We really wanna get the bacon nice and crispy on these guys. So that's kind of what we're going for on the bacon dogs. The bacon dogs are the cheese dogs for the people that don't want all the nacho or the hot or any of that. So I'm curious to see what you guys would stuff these with if you were going to make these. So leave us a comment if you try these, man. Uh, I know it's a lot of work to go through just for a hot dog when you can just put the stuff on top. But why not have a little fun? So you'll see the, the Q-tip, or the uh, Q-tip, sorry about that, the toothpicks on these, right? That's going to be the pro tip. So how we've got is we've got like three toothpicks in some of these, two in one, one in another one. That way we know what's inside because we plug that hole back up and we're keeping a little legend. So there's your pro tip, guys. Keep your little uh, legend of what you got going so somebody that doesn't like mushroom doesn't bite into a mushroom dog. All right. We're just going to cook these on all sides, get them cooked up. Y'all know how to cook a hot dog, so... We'll come back as we uh, as we show you the final product. All right, so we got a bun toasted off here. And I'm gonna make my Mexicali dog. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the guac on mine. Cause I like a little guac. Kinda, a little bit of that on there. And the Mexicali dog, one of the ones with two toothpicks. One in each hand, I should say. Oh, a little plug came out. So did that one. That's okay, though. Got the Mexicali dog on there. We're going to do a little bit of cheese on that one. I got a little bit of onion, because I like the onion. go Mexicali dog with onion and cheese we'll go uh, diagonal cut look at that there you go you got Mexicali in there and it is good so yeah let us know what you guys want to stuff yours with if you're even willing to try this or if you think that's a giant waste of time uh, thanks for watching everybody as always like share and subscribe have a great day